guys, good to have you all back. We're doing all about envelopes April, but there's not an envelope inside on my desk. That is correct, because we're going to make some today. So here's my plan for today. I am going to show you five different techniques to make uh, envelopes from book pages, from paper, any sort of paper, not scrapbook paper, not the heavy, heavy cardstock, um, <clears throat> but you know, the normal paper that we have lying around. Now, four of the techniques are going to be very simple. One, a little bit more difficult, but I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, making envelopes, going to be lovely. I am going to show you the supplies that we are using for today's project. Let me start with the papers, anything. Guys, anything. I have all sorts on my desk. Now, most of these are book pages. Smaller ones, bigger ones. I have some maps here, some street maps. I have some uh, design paper. This uh, is design paper that came from a reminiscence book from Elizabeth Craft Designs. I have some um, beautiful, like these. Gorgeous, right? Yes. What are you going to do with them? Well, you could use them as a page in a in a journal or... You know, fuzzy cutting is not an option. It's just lovely. Some <clears throat> sort of heavier paper. This, I believe, is 180 grams, I think, or or maybe 190. That's the heaviest you can do. I even have some yellow pages on here. Yellow pages. Foreign language book pages. I have some vellum. I have some... Um, this is pattern paper, guys. Well, sort of pattern paper. Very thin paper. I also have some blank paper or... Paper with grid paper. This is uh, empty ledger paper, order forms, you name it. Um, blank paper in a lovely color. Paper, yes. Um, don't have them really, really small. Not small, small papers. Just you no know, normal book pages and A4 or letter size paper. Or maybe even the tiniest bit bigger. They can be rectangular. They can be... Square. I'm going to use squares and rectangles. Yes? Guess what? You cannot make a... Well, you could actually make a rectangle out of a square. But then it will be smaller. Um, but you can make a square out of a rectangle. Yes, we can make this into a rectangle. Okay, so for paper, basically everything. Magazine, encyclopedia, pss, newspaper. What have you? Yeah? So, paper. Uh, the tools. Let me show you. For tools, I'm using the usual suspect glue of your choice. Yes. Um, scissors, ruler and a knife. I'm going to use a pencil. I'm going to mark something. I'm using a bone folder. Not necessary. Anything that sort of makes a, a sharper crease. Now, for some projects, I'm going to use a little bit fancier stuff. Wow, yeah. I have a, a circle punch if I want to make a notch. Not necessary. You can do this by hand with your scissors if you're not me. Because I cannot do this by hand. Then I'm taking out um, uh, a corner rounder. Yes. Or maybe you have this. Now, this is a tool that not everybody has. This came with my small scoreboard. Let me get it out for you guys. I have invested years ago in a small scoreboard. Very, very good option to have a small one. Start with a small one. And it came with this, an envelope maker. It's a notch maker and a, a corner rounder. So if you happen to have this tool, I'm going to use it, but not necessary at all. And a scoreboard. Now, I've taken out my big scoreboard. Uh, this one from We Are Memory Keepers. That didn't come with the notch maker, but it did come with on the back... And believe me, guys, I've had this one for weeks and then I flipped it over and I was like, what is this? Um, actually a thing to make envelopes with. I'm not going to use this, guys. No, it's going to be simple, simple. But for the last um, sort of project that I'm doing, I am using a scoreboard, which is basically not necessary at all. You don't even need a scoreboard. Yeah, so um, well, other than this... No fancy smancy stuff. For decorating, I might do some inking. I might do some decorating. Who knows? So, um, if you're really missing mass make March, guess what? We're mass making stuff. We're going to make lots of envelopes. Five different kinds. I'm going to start with the easiest one. Yeah? Okay. Let's get going. Let's start with the simplest one. I have different sizes of rectangular normal book pages uh, on my desk. 
gonna start with this lovely one with numbers guys you're gonna think i'm sort of you know nuts <laughs> because this is the simplest thing ever but you know i'm gonna make a straight envelope yes oh it's on it's single-sided oh that is cool that is cool yes i'm gonna fold it up like so there you go envelope I'm gonna fold this in not all the way to the bottom uh guys not all the way to the to the fold leaving a little bit of room there have it straight that'll be lovely yes i am not necessarily at all i'm taking out um this sucker punch i'm gonna make a notch in the middle eyeballing it not necessary insert stuff here yes Okay, corner rounder again, not necessary. I'm gonna round corners on this top one. Hoping this works because this is sort of vintagey, very fragile paper. Yes, take out glue. Take out your sewing machine. If you have a sewing machine, sew all around it. I do have a sewing machine, yes, it's retired. <laughs> We had a falling out. We had an argument and I'm like, well, you know, enjoy your days here in the cupboard. Yes, no, I I have tried and tried to do the stuff with the sewing machine, guys. It's just, it's not me. There you go. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Envelope. envelope. Yes, it's upside down, but that's quite all right. Look at the back. Lovely decorating. And, and you're done. And you're done. Let's do one um, with this one. Very beautiful, right? Okay, I want this to be on the back, which means... Oh, well, um, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> There's loads of stuff. I'm going to fold this up. Yes, it's upside down, but that's quite all right, lovies. Yes, no worries, no worries. Fold it up. However tall you want your envelope or high you want your envelope to be do not fold it all the way to the bottom but do have it uh, overlap loves it must overlap if i'm turning it around yes this is not upside down fantastic it's raggedy on one side yeah <clears throat> because i did not do a good job of taking this out of the book i i even think i got this in happy mail Guess what? It is straight now. I know this is the easiest thing ever. Um, but it's fun. Especially when you're going to decorate them. I This is not necessary loves. I'm again rounding corners. Because that makes it look a little bit more realistic. So what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna round these corners with a smaller setting. Just looks nice. I'm not going to make a notch in this one. No. Ink. If you want to, if not, put glue here and here. I know it's the simplest thing ever. But you do have an envelope now. Let's make it from something more uh, plain. Now, this is a very large piece of paper. Um, I'm just going to take a bit off. I do want a straight bit off there we go lovely scrap to put on something else folding it in yes folding it over small flappy on the top with this one well, that's quite all right I am not even going to round corners on this one. No. This is lovely for decorating. I might, I, I think I'm going to do some decorating, guys. Um, first, all the techniques and then the decorating. Shall we do this one? I love this part. I love this part. So I'm going to utilize it. We're going to make a big envelope. Just gonna. Um, well, we're going to have this one here. Oh, yeah. Big envelope. Ooh, I'm going to line these up, just in case you're using this sort of paper. I'm going to line this up. Look at the lovely patina on this. Yes. And then, let's see if we can line this up. 
Yes, line this up as well. Goes, not goes. It says goes, but it's goes. It's actually uh, a lovely city here in the Netherlands. Okay, um, I'm putting glue on this edge here. But also on the other side. So the entrance of the envelope is going to be um, a little smaller. Not rounding corners because there's lots of straight lines on this one. There we go. Yes, big envelope. Really, really cool. Yeah? Straightforward, straightforward, straight envelopes. It's just fantastic. Yes, for happy mail, you can uh, put them in journals or what have you. Uh, and you can make them special, guys, with a decorating. I want to do decorating. Of course, I'm going to do decorating, for sure. Okay, um, next technique. Let me show you. Now, the second technique, you've literally seen me do a gazillion times on my channel. But just in case, guys, you're new here. Hi, welcome. And you've never seen me do this. <laughs> I'm going to do coin envelopes. It's very simple. I make these all the time. Take any size of paper, loves. You can have it landscape, portrait, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take out, this is a foreign language. I'm gonna put this landscape, yes. Fold it towards the center. Not double it up, towards the center. The other side as well, overlapping the tiniest bits, like quarter inch, half an inch, depends on how big you want your pocket, uh, well, coin envelope to be. Yes, have it straight. That'll be lovely. Then this is going to be the bottom because this is all raggedy. I'm going to fold it up a tiny bit. And there you go. Now you can leave it open. Then it will be a bag. But I'm going to make it into coin envelopes. So I'm going to make a flap on the top. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to fold it open again. This is the bottom part. Here's what we're going to do. There's a section here and a section here. I'm going to take it off, but I'm going to miter it, which means I'm not going to cut it straight. I'm going to cut it at the slightest angle. I'm cutting it at the slightest angle because if we fold it up later, I'm going to show you, uh, we don't want it to bulk up. And this, I'm going not going to cut straight, but also at the tiniest angle. This is called mitering it. Yeah. Same on the other side, cutting at the slightest angle, mitering it. So don't cut it like this, no, because when we fold it in, see, it leaves a little bit of room here. And when you fold this up, if you cut this straight and it's not really straight and you fold this up, there'll be sort of a bulky stuff going on over here. That's why I put it at an angle. Now on the top, I'm going to do almost the same, mitering it a little bit. Yes. But I'm keeping this straight. I want this strap, uh, flap to be straight. But you could have it at an angle. Just, you know, whatever you want, loves. I want my flap on the top to be straight. At an angle. Yes. Okay. I want this to overlap. Taking out the glue. Gluing on the outer edge here. Yes, the outside. And gluing on the outer edge here. And there we go. So you can glue it down. There we go. And then put a little bit of glue here on the flap. And, and you're done. I'm going to do another one. I have this big order form. I'm going to make a long coin envelope. I just love all the, all the sort of lines on here. So this is going to be a long one with a long flap that closes it. Yes, overlapping just a little bit. Now you also have different variations on uh, the coin envelope. I'm going to do the easiest one uh, with you guys. So this is going to be the closure, just a tiny bit. Yes, and the flap, I want to have a longer flap. Is that straight? Ish, straight ish. Yep. Opening it up. Miter. Miter. Yes. 
My turn, my turn. There we go. Um, I'm going to uh, cut this at a bigger angle because it's a big flap. It will overlap so you can have a bigger opening. So the bigger the closure, the flap on the top, uh, the bigger the angle that you can cut at because uh, it will cover it up. And there we go. See, you have a bigger opening now, but that's okay because this will cover it up. I did not cut it straight. I'm gonna readjust it later. Okay, I'm gonna put glue here on this outer edge and on this outer edge. And here. See, the flap isn't straight straight, but that's okay. I'm gonna cut it at a slight angle. Eyeballing it, eyeballing it, I'm eyeballing it. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. That looks lovely. See, coin envelopes. Very, very handy to have. Pretty to make and, you know, lots of decorating to do. Okay, guys, um, let's do the next technique. For these envelopes, I'm using square pieces of paper. Now, this is probably a 10 by 10 or 8 by 8. Not even. <laughs> eight and a half by eight and a half. So it is a square, yes. These are not square. I'm going to make them square. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to take a corner, line it up with the top. Yes. Over here. Straight, 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 straight. I'm going to mark it here. Yep. And I'm going to take some off and then it's straight. You can do all sorts of measuring. Yes. Take out your paper trimmer and... Then cut it. But if you don't have a paper trimmer, line it up with something on your mat so it is straight. You can draw a line and then cut it with your scissors. Or I can even tear it. Or you do this. There you go. Straight. <clears throat> Let's see with this one. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Very old piece of paper. I'm going to make it straight. There we go. Well, you're not going to make it straight. You're going to make it square. Get out of my way, piece of map. There we go. Because it's very thin paper, I can I can rip it. Yes. And then let's do the map. Is this, it's not a square. This is actually a little bit heavier paper. It is almost a square. Let's take this off. Why did you line it on the bottom? Because I just want to. There you go. Now this is too heavy and too small of a piece to... Um, rip. Here comes in the knife. There you go. Okay. So now we have squares. Different sizes, but that's quite all right. Doesn't need, this is double-sided, guys. Doesn't need to be double-sided. Okay. For this, you will need your ruler and a pencil. Because we are going to mark something. We're going to start with the biggest piece. This is a heavy book page, but it will be fine. We're going to put it diagonally. Let me zoom you out. Tiny bit. Hello. Yes. I want to make a line from this point to this point. It's a big one. Where's my big ruler? I'm just going to draw a line with a pencil because I also want to erase it. Yes. And also from here to there. So make a big cross on it. Now these envelopes will be, the image will be diagonally. That's quite right. It's going to be lovely. 
anyway uh front back i'm gonna have this this is going to be the front the uh, outside of the envelope okay we have sort of a crossroads here take a point of your paper fold it towards the center also line it up there's a cross here so the point let me zoom me back in guys there you go the point of this paper needs to be at the exact sort of crossroads here yes okay heavy paper bone folder please there we go yes doing the same with the other one folding it towards the center where all the lines meet up yeah okay now uh, this is going to be the bottom oh sure sure i'm going to fold this up yes and i'm going to fold this oh, um, overlapping a bit here yeah that is quite right just a tiny bit again this needs to be on the line in the middle so and these need to to line up on the sides yes it is sticking out a little bit, but that's quite all right. That's what we want. That's actually what we want. There you go. Yes. And then this is the flap. Folding it open. Again, overlapping a little bit here. There we go. Lining this point up with the line in the center. Okay, this is the flap, this is the inside. You can have it like this. I don't want to have it like this. So here's what I do. I just fold this a little bit. Oh yes, no nails. There we go. See, then you have like sort of a straight uh, entrance. I'm gluing this down right away. Okay, folding it open. Now, we have a uh, sort of triangle here hoping you can see triangle here here and here i'm going to you can cut this out with your scissors but i have somewhere my notch maker so let me show you what a notch maker does you line it up with the folds yes and then cut this out but if you don't have the notch maker i'm going to do one without the notch maker lovies you just take out your scissors you can buy these uh, without the scoreboard, loves. Um, I know Fast and Creative has one. Probably also We Are Memory Keepers. See, we have lovely sort of notches. Why? Because it will create a lot of bulk. <clears throat> folding in, folding in. Fold this up. Yeah. I'm going to put glue here and here. Just on these lines. There we go. Here and here here oops lovely envelope it's straight i can tell you this is straight yes because we did all the measuring with the big cross in the middle let's do another one i, I absolutely love this image so this is going to be on the outside yes i love this image as well uh, so you can draw the line from one end to the other also, what you can do, love, is just, again, I need a bigger ruler. Um, you can also just put a sort of cross in the middle. So you don't need to go from there to there. Just from there to there. See? It doesn't need to go all the way to the top. Uh, well, I'm going to have it like so. This point will meet up in the center. You can see a little bit better on this uh, paper. Yes. Fold it towards the center. Fold this towards the center. There you go. I'm going to fold this up. Overlapping a little bit. Following these lines and following this line. Yes. And this is going to be the flap that closes it. Line in the center and line these up. So very, very easy. Yes, this what I'm not even going to turn around. I'm going to be surprised. 
I'm gonna be surprised. Uh, you don't need a, a ruler, guys. You can just, you know, sort of do this. You can sort of do this. I'm gonna glue this one shut. There you go. Oops. Okay. Now let me see what we do with scissors. Well, wow, it's easy, loves. It's easy. Snippy here, snippy there. Yep. Snip it, snip it. On all four of these sort of corners. Oops, shaky hands, shaky hands. Need lunch. Okay. Uh, folding it back in. Yes, entrance. Oh, I already love it. I have not even seen the front of it. There we go. Glue here and here. Ink everything beforehand, lovies, if you want to do some inking. Yes, this is the flap. Gonna flip it over. It's amazing. Just love it. Just love it. Do we have time for one more? I'm going to do one more because I really uh, want to use this paper. It's beautiful old paper. Making a line in the center. There we go. Here and there. You know what is fun? Use different uh, types of paper loves. Um, because the, the result is going to be different every time uh, you try it out. So all your envelopes will be amazing. Experiment with it. And this is going to be... Yes, this is going to be the bottom. Bottom, line it up here. Flap. The image is going to be a little bit on the flap. Yes. Folding this in. Here's one. I'm doing the snippies because um, this is very fragile paper. I don't know if my notch maker will like this or it will like it a lot and will eat it. That is also a possibility. It's just very nice to make these with limited supplies. You just need ruler, pencil, scissors, glue. And you're done. Yes. Glue here and here. You know what's also nice to make these from wallpaper. There you go. Oh yes, just interesting. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to do the next technique. It's a variation on this one. It's going to be a funny one. Let me show you. So this next one is a variation on the previous envelope. I have learned this technique from Joey the Fee. Joey the Fee is not making any videos at the moment, but please go watch her channel. She has fantastic videos. I'm going to link her uh, below. So you need rectangular pieces of paper. I have different sizes and different sorts of paper. I'm going to start with this one. Now, it is not a square. I know it's not a square, but we're going to find the center. So I am not going to fold it in. I am going to fold it over like so. Have these ends meet. You could also measure out the, the center, love. I'm not gonna, even going to do it. Pinch it here. Pinch it on the bottom. Yes. Marking it. Marking it. And then I'm going to draw a line with pencil, love. With pencil. Also, just in the center. Just need it in the center. Yes, a line. Now, here's what we do. You take the bottom right corner. Yes, you fold it up towards the line. Keeping in mind the mark that we made here on the bottom. Yes, the bottom to the line. Straight. Now I'm going to take the other corner, the opposite corner. 
Yes, again, I'm folding it towards the center, keeping in mind the middle here. Yes, we marked it. And it needs to line up. Heavy paper. Yes, okay. Uh, this is just you know, regular paper. It doesn't really matter what the top or the bottom is. We have an odd shape now, like a diamond shape, but not really. We're going to do the, the same thing. I'm going to overlap here. This is going to be a bigger part. This is a smaller part. I'm going to overlap. There we go. Line this up. Line this up. There's no line in the center, loves. Yeah, so you cannot line up here. So line up with both of the sides. There you go. There you go. Yes, I don't enjoy this sticking out, but you can have it as is. So I'm just going to make sure this goes to the inside. There we go. And then this is going to be the flap. Oh, especially with this paper. It's lovely. Overlap a little bit. Yeah, here and there. There we go. Okay, though. Now, instead, we could fold it open and snip everything off. Here's the thing. Don't. Don't. Have it as is. Have it as is. I'm going to glue this down. It's wonky envelopes. Yes. Here's what I'm gluing, guys. And this is... This is um. Uh, important so don't just put glue here and here we need to glue this whole part here otherwise if you put stuff in it will get stuck so i am putting down glue here on this side yes on the angle there we go sort of measuring it where is it it is here and now i'm going to put glue here over this whole surface yes so this whole flap will be uh, glued here. And that is important. Otherwise, the stuff that you're going to put into the envelope will get stuck. So you have a wonky envelope. It's wonky. It's so, <laughs> so cute, guys. So cute. Especially with this paper, with all the diagonal lines. Oh, this. Oh, I love it. I love it. So wonky envelopes. Let's do another one with an image on. Yeah, I want, of course I want this on the outside. Lining it up. Yes. Pinching it here, pinching it there. Putting a mark and a mark. Drawing a small line in the center. That you basically cannot see. <laughs> because it's there. Bottom right corner. Keep in mind the mark that we made and the line. I can see the line now. I can see the line. Yay. There we go. And then the top left one. You could also flip it over and, and, and do this. <laughs> um, let's have them all go this way. So this is going to be the bottom part. Yes. I am folding this in. Not necessary at all. And then this is going to be the closing part. Overlapping just a tiny bit here. Loves. There you go. Opening it up. I'm gluing this down. Yes. Let's see. We need to glue there. Hello. I was gluing this down. This line. And then put glue all over. Here. Yes. With pigeons. Isn't it lovely? Let's see the front. Oh. Just beautiful. Let's do a small one. This is a vintage children's book page from a children's book. I love those, but I hardly ever use them. There and there. 
Oh, it is on the exact line. Oh, it's here. <laughs> this line, <laughs> exactly in the middle. There we go. Fold this up. Fold this down. Or flip it. It's easy, right? Yes, and it's so, so fun. Uh, am I doing it right too? Oh, I think so. I'm gonna leave it. Yes, and then this is going to be the flap that closes it. it closes it. There we go. Oh, just interesting, just interesting. I'm gonna glue it. Last one, last one. <laughs> I really like this paper. This is from a Sears and Robux uh, catalog, not the real one. I have a book that has the images of the Sears. It's a vintage book. But I just love this. Um, I do need to make... Oh, again, it's on this line. Okay, well. I'm going to fold it towards this line. This side up, this side up. I didn't even see what's going to be the inside and the outside. I put all the lovely harmonica. Is it harmonicas? I think they're harmonicas. <laughs> oh, but that is that is pretty. And then this is going to be the flap. Oh, just interesting. Yes. Yes, also this one. Okay, guys. Um, I'm, I'm, I think this video is going to be over an hour. I'm really, really sorry. But I'm enjoying myself. Let's do the last technique. That is going to be a little bit more well, difficult. Not really. But I'm going to explain. The last technique is going to be a little bit more elaborate. Uh, it's going to look very similar to the first one. So and this is a simple one. But it's going to be uh, a little bit more fancier. Something fancier okay <clears throat> using a scoreboard not necessary at all lovies i am taking out uh, a rectangular piece of paper this is sort of cheap design paper that i have loads of yes okay <clears throat> here's the thing i want to make a score on each side of the paper and i want them to be the exact same size that's why I'm using a scoreboard. Uh, depending on how big your paper is. A small strippy. I think I'm going to do this. Uh, three quarters of an inch. There you go. Flipping it over. Again. Three quarters of an inch. Now basically guys. It's not necessary. Take your piece of paper. And fold it in. And fold it in on the other side. But you know. I want some fancy stuff. Oops. There we go. Okay. Is this directional? Sort of is directional. Yes. We're going to do the same as we did with the first technique. This is going to be the entrance of the envelope. There we go. Yes. And this is going to be the flap, leaving a little bit of room in between the two. Have it straight. That'll be lovely. Great. Now, when we fold it open, we have a, a piece here, a compartment here, here, here. Here, here, and here. Okay. We're going to cut some stuff off. I'm going to start at the bottom part. Yes? This bit. These. I'm going to cut straight up until where we fold it. And then I'm going to mitre it or slant it. Or, you know, cut it at an angle. So this needs to be straight. Yes. And then, instead of cutting it straight, I'm going to cut this at the slightest angle. Like so. See? Same on the other side. Cut this straight. That would be lovely if it was straight. And at an angle. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to fold this up. This is the entrance of my envelope. And I'm going to mark it here. Ju the tiniest bit below. Just like a millimeter below. Yes? Okay. Now. Turning my paper, I'm going to cut up until the mark. Again, straight. 
where we marked it. Yes, and then a tiny bit of an angle. Same on the other side. Where's my fold? Yes. And woo, shaky hands. There. Okay, you can have this straight. I want to round corners just because I want to round corners. <laughs> Gonna round my corners here. Well, sort of rounding corners there. Yes, and also on the top part. What are you doing? I don't know. My corner round is not having it today. There we go. Yes. Okay. Now these flappies, we're going to fold in. And they are going to function as gussets. Which means we actually have a little bit more room inside the envelope to put stuff in. See? Like so. That's basically it. Put glue here. Yes. And put glue here. I am leaving the tiniest bit of room on the on this top, guys, because that is sticking out. Uh, because we rounded this corner, see? Yes. Lovely envelope. It just looks a little bit more luxurious, right? Yeah. Let's do another one. Um, do I have more paper? Of course you do. I'm using this beautiful paper from the Concise British Flora or Tima Flora and Kleuren. Beautiful page. Uh, this is the tiniest bit smaller, so I'm doing um, half an inch. But again, guys, uh, it doesn't even need to be precise because the, the folds are going to be on the inside. You're not even going to see them. So do it by hand. If you don't have a scoreboard... No worries at all, lovies. This is, yes, one part is going to be upside down, but that's quite all right. It's going to be the entrance of the envelope and this, the closure. And that is lovely. Yep. Okay, I'm marking it straight away. Here and here so i know where to cut cutting it straight and at an angle now again why i'm cutting where why am i cutting this at an angle because we don't want stuff sticking out and we don't want it to bulk up that's why i'm cutting the last piece here at the tiniest angle. Uh, where's the fold here? Yes. Yes. I am again rounding corners. Not necessary, loves. This is optional. You know this by now. Fold this in. Fold this in. Glue. I'm putting down glue here. But you could also do it here. Whatever you want, loves. we go lovely fantastic right yes so uh, I'm gonna make one more one more with plain paper this is actually recycled paper um, I'll be using this paper again to make envelopes with a little bit later in uh, the month of um, April because I'm thinking I want to make faux vintage envelopes. It's going to be a lovely project. Uh, and this paper will lend itself perfectly for this project. Fold 
folding it up, folding it in. Mark, mark. I think I want to stamp something on here. I'm gonna decorate it. I do not know for sure yet. Depends. <laughs> Depends. Yes, and where? Oh my gosh, where did I mark it? <laughs> because there's all sorts of dots on this uh, paper because it's recycled paper. Straight angle. Straight angle. Yes, over in. So we're basically making gussets in an envelope. But honestly, um, not that low. Uh, most envelopes have this. Oh, it didn't round corners. We're not rounding corners on this one. Well, we are not, We are just not. Yes. Very plain one, but lovely to decorate. Is that it, guys? I think that is it. We made a ton. Now, let's see if we can decorate some of them. So, we have loads of envelopes. Some of them, like this one, are just done. I'm not even going to touch uh, this one. Uh, same with this. Maybe um, a label on it. You could uh, decorate sort of the front of the envelopes. Or the backs of the envelopes. Whatever you wish, lovies. But some of them I really want to alter. I'm going to do something with this one. This one. This. I'm going to put something on this one. Stamping. Oh, I don't know if, if I have the time, uh, loves. Um, but some. No. I'm not going to do this one. Because this is going to be a video uh, by itself. I'm going to make uh, vintage envelopes with this. This one. Small one. And this, I'm gonna do these. These I'm gonna put aside. Yes. Don't know about this because I don't have, do not know if I have the time for stamping. Now, for decorating, take out anything you want. Bits and bobs, fuzzy cuts, what have you. Just a small, uh, tiny collage on it. Now, I have decided I'm taking out some fuzzy cuts or ephemera pieces that I have from brands like 49 and Market, Studio Light. This is from Simple Stories that I have lying about and don't do anything with. Need to start using them. So that's what I'm doing. This is the anywhere or everywhere, whatever. And I think it will go really well with the, with the map, sort of a travel theme. This is black and white. So I want to do something with this one for sure. And this one for the black and white. This is mixed media. Some I don't know, lobbies. Something with this, yes. And um, maybe this. Oh, these colors will work well. Yes, and I have this from the Grunge Collection from Studio Light. Again, never used it and I think it will go very well with these. I'm going to start with these ones. Just in case you're interested, guys. And if they are still available, they are a link below my page my web page at doing is linked below it's always linked below and if they are still available they will be on there yes so if you're in within the eu you can order them there i have not used them it's paper elements people and elements and labels and frames yeah uh, this gentleman needs to be on here for the so sophisticated gentleman i just want something in the back let's see if we can do Something with a frame. Oh, that's actually cool. Oh, yes. Just a this. Just a this. Why is this white? Because you're going to ink it. Don't want this to be white. The rest I'm going to ink with a browner color. Walnut stain. Yes. Walnut stain. To age it up a little bit. We don't want the white edges. 
there we go first i'm using these these are not stickers right no they're not stickers lovely frame let's put this on first now uh use images from book pages uh lovies that you fussy cut or something a digital or images from uh, an encyclopedia, rubbons, a label, poster stamps. Probably gonna grab some labels and poster stamp as well. And there we go. And then what a sophisticated, oh, fantastic! It does work very well. These colors. Tada! Yeah, cool. Uh, the small one. Let's do the small one. This is a coin envelope. What are we putting on here? Gentleman on a bicycle. Another frame. Oh, he's cute. Yeah. And today is only as beautiful oh, as you allow it to be. Blah, 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 blah. It does uh, go very well with the colors though, but it needs to cover up. The thing that says blah 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 i'm sorry if you just if you're new to my channel i do not like sentiments that's a sentiment uh for the sophisticated gentleman is not a sentiment to me but that is it just creeps me out do we have anything that sort of will go well oh I have, we have this Oh yes, that'll work, that'll work. A little bit of inking. A bit on the gentleman. <clears throat> there we go. I love this here in the corner. That's really cool. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> you probably think I'm weird. I know I am. Um, I just really don't enjoy them. And there we go. See? This one. I absolutely love this. Do we want anything from this? collection on here maybe not maybe not i don't know guys i'm not thinking taking anything from this collection to decorate this because i really want to put uh, the colors um need to go through so i'm gonna find something that will put more emphasis on these colors and not the brown ones Let's see if I can do these ones first. These are black and white ones. Absolutely love it. Doesn't need a lot. I'm going to add a little bit. This is just a plain background. You can do whatever. Now I have these fantastic, beautiful flowers. Black and white ones. From This is from Simple Stories from a collection last year. It was sort of a black and white collection. Really loved it. Uh, yes. So I'm going to have this on. And then just a normal label. And maybe, maybe a something. I'm not inking anything on this one because I also did not ink the, the envelope itself. So I'm keeping it plain. Just a this. Again, these are not stickers. Well, I don't believe so. No, no, no. There we go. <clears throat> Do I have anything black words like a strip with something black? Calls answered day or night. All orders promptly attended to. There we go. Tada. Done. Now this one. Absolutely love this one. Um... <clears throat> I don't want to put a big image on here. It is sort of about travel. So I might use this. But I need something in the background. Now I have these 
from the wherever collection the chipboard frames and i might take out one of them and just sort of put it on there and then this on the top Oh, that's just cool. And and label. And label. Um I'm gonna do this. Do, 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 do. Hoping something will stick. It will. Yes. Michelle, let's see. What do we have? Official guide to the city. That is actually Really cool, yeah. Because why not? Oh yeah. Really cool one. Love it. Okay. Um, what else? Oh oh the maps. Let's do something with the maps. So these are the envelopes that I made from the from the maps, two different ones. Uh, I'm gonna decorate them. I've taken out the ephemera pieces from uh, 49er Market from the Wherever collection because of travel. See? Yes, that's. Uh, I'm gonna start with, with this big one. Now, lots of stuff in here that I really don't like, like words and, and such, but um, lots of stuff that I do like, actually. Let's see. Big labels for one. Very big labels. That is cool. Or this. this is too much of the same color. Oh, that's actually pretty. Yes, label and this. Do we dare to use a word or something? So much to see. <laughs> Ticket to ride. Take it to ride. Okay. That's that's sort of okay. Oh, I love this. Like with a pointing arrow thing. Yeah, that's cool. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, a sort of ticket. Yeah. What's this? Ooh, word. <laughs> new. So new. Oh, and sort of a tap. Um, I'm going to put the tap here or on the side. Yeah. It's not like me at all, but I think I'm going to love it. Expand your horizon sometimes, <laughs> lovey. Yeah. So this is going to go here. Yes. I'm going to glue this to this piece. Hello. <laughs> Please glue. It's all glitter glue. Should have been it should have been done. There we go. How what what did we do? No, this was gonna go over it. Yeah, so first this one. couple of you guys commented you should take a, a a picture with your telephone when you do a collage guess what do you have any clue where my telephone is it's here it's my camera <laughs> so i cannot take a picture with uh, my telephone there we go and then oh i do like it take it to right See, you should just make it work. Oh yeah. Ah. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Uh, this is the top. I think I want to have this on here because of very cool. Do not put a map on a map, love. What is this? Oh, that is fantastic. 
and it's also blue something here and here do you want to add what is this i don't know it's cool um another tap that goes here explore more explore more oh that i can i can live with explore more yeah and and um label oh, oh ticket ticket strippy I'm so sorry if this is your jam, love. Um, it's just not my jam. Big one, small one, new. So yeah, I'm going to do this one. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Gluing this down first. Putting a small tappy on it. Then this piece. Yes. Then before I do this, I'm going to put the strip here. Can you hear the wind blowing? Yes, we're having a bit of a spring storm or something like it. I'm just not happy with this one. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work for me. That's better. A little bit of a number, because we cannot do without numbers. I actually think this is the best piece in the whole pack. Big globe. Oh, upside down. <laughs> do not have the whole... The whole world was upside down. I don't know what happened. And this is going to be explore more. Oh, great. Oh, I do like them. They work so well on, um, like, maps and such. Uh, we had some left. Oh, yes, the colorful ones. I have this bright envelope. You could be done. Just put on a label and, you know, done. Uh, but I, I have these. Now, I have used this once. This is actually not really my thing. No. Uh, but I'm going to try it. Because I think the color, these colors go really, really well. These are mixed media leaves, I believe. It was from a fall collection from 49er Market. Not everything from 49er Market. It just screams me. Um, I'm going to have something behind. I have a scrap piece of paper. It's too big. And I want some torn edges. There we go. It's probably upside down now. My apologies. Yes. And um, Michelle did make some purple and what's gonna call it? Uh, pink labels. I don't know. Did I already cut out the pink ones? I don't. I don't think so. But I have some purple ones. Oh yeah. Oh, that actually works really, really well. Yes. Yes. One more thing. I do not know what yet. Oh, poster stamp. Poster stamp. In, uh, oh, I have uh, a bag full of these purple ones. Well, and, and darker blue. But this, actually. Yeah. Yes. Where? Mm, I don't know. Somewhere. I'm gonna start with this. Again, I apologize if I'm gluing this upside down. Yes. The label thingy. 
Uh, Junction on Studio, guys. Labels, Days Gone By, Pastels. She has a couple of them. <laughs> They're all fantastic. Basically, need to have. Yes, if you like labels and if you like on digitals, it's a must have. I'm just gonna have it at the bottom. It's not really me. Normally I'd put it somewhere else, but I'm expanding my horizon. The colors go really, really well. Yes. Um, I have another one, but where? Well, I still have this one. I'm gonna do something else with this. I have this one. I think I'm just going to put a beautiful label on. I'm going to snip it though. this as sort of a, a classic. Do you want to double label it? <laughs> yes, double label it. I have these from Mr. Tim Holtz out. Ooh. Do you want to put... Uh, this is from, um, oh, no, <laughs> the Tim Holtz Halloween collection with the stickers. Do we want to put a sticker on? Will that work? Uh, I don't think it's going to work, so uh, I'm going to cut it out. And then see if I can make this work. I cannot. So you go back in there. I am sorry, I cannot. I'm just going to start with this one and probably add a poster stamp. Maybe even over there because, you know, it's an envelope. There. There. Missing the tiny bit here. There we go. Poster stamps. Um, that could work. Something brownish. Something brownish. It's from Argentina. Ooh. Oh, yes, I'm going to have this big gentleman from Belgium. <laughs> Is this Leopold then? I don't But it's fantastic. Yeah, simple but effective. Is this the last one? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to think about it for a little while. <laughs> and then I'll be back, see what I can do. I just really like it. It needs to have something popping. I found my bright colors. Yes, it's the Kaleidoscope collection from uh, 49 Market that I only picked up the rub-ons from because I, I love rub-ons, but I don't do these bright colors. Guess what? I'm doing bright colors. I'm putting on a rub-on. Um, I have two sets. I have this big, big one. I think it is the tiniest bit too big, maybe even, but I don't care. I'm just gonna use this. Because when else am I going to use it? You might hear Daisy snoring in the back. Yes, very tired. Yeah. Of, uh, well, eating uh, treats and uh, jumping on my desk and having a nap there. I would also be extremely tired. Fuzzy cutting, sort of fuzzy cutting. It's a big piece, right? I'm hoping it'll fit. Probably will. Oh my gosh, Daisy. <laughs> I 
So it's not your husband snoring on the couch. No, it's my cat. Um, it will fit, but I want to layer it. So I'm going to put probably something bright underneath. I'm going to add a butterfly. I'm going to add a butterfly. Yes, there we go. It's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. So I'm going to have this here. I'm going to use a, a pencil to rub it on. I'm going to do that off camera, guys. And then I'm going to add one more big element and maybe a, a butterfly. So I went through my labels. I couldn't find anything that was like big enough or bold enough. Except for this one. I really like this one. Colors go very well, but it's like a small one. And then I went through my ephemera pieces. My vintage and antique ephemera. I have loads of this. Yeah, got it in Happy Mail. It is fantastic. I really like, like the color of uh, sort of the pinkish red on here. I'm going to use it. I have like 10 or something of these. Uh, they are real. So this is the first time I'm using one of them. With pain in my heart, I might add. But I have a couple of them. And they're meant to be used, loves. Yeah, so just put them on. Just put them on. Actually, this should have been... Well, it's our glitter glue, so... Oh, yes, no, I can still move it a little bit more towards the center. Yes. And then one of these lovely is it is it crooked now? Want this on, yeah. And just one butterfly from the same um, set. Going to be half on here. Hoping this works because um, this is old paper, and the the the. Uh, rub-ons go on perfectly on this newer paper no problem at all but sometimes with very old paper it gets stuck to the paper which is a good thing but then the paper gets stuck to the glue so you basically take off the paper but it works oh it's lovely it's just so pretty different but pretty guys we made a gazillion well not really but a lot i think we are at the end result let me show you made a bunch love them well this is the last one that we made this is one of the wonky envelopes guys decorate the bags as well if you want to if you're gonna do mass making love yes don't decorate them just make the envelopes and decorate them later so really love it then some of them i didn't decorate because why would i it is already so beautiful i got this um piece of uh, paper in happy mail yeah, I believe so. I believe I got this in Happy Mail. Fantastic. Same with this one. Uh, just put a label on and a post stamp. If you're going to use it as a real envelope, yeah, you can You can use it as a real envelope. Put lots in. Do some inking all around. Same with this one. Just, you know, simple, lovely, fantastic. I absolutely love this one. Yes, this came, the page came from the Sears and Robux um, book. That I have. I, I Lucky I have two of them. These are very expensive, guys. If you can find them, they're expensive. But I have two, so yeah. Coin envelope thingy. See, simple, simple, simple. Now, a normal one. Let me show you how you use these in, in journals, right? You can use them as an envelope. Put anything in. But, uh, for instance, uh, this is your page. Let's do this page. And you have an envelope. Put glue here. Then glue it on like so. Not all the way flush um, against the page. Leave a little bit of room, lovies. Always a little bit of room. And I just love them. Or use paper clip. See? Here's an envelope I made last year. Coin envelope thingy. And uh, you have a paper clip and then you sort of clip it on. So that's how you use them in, in journals. And they're just lovely to make. Also one of my favorites. Really cool. I'm really into the black and white at the moment. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, we need to do all the erasing still. I forgot. I forgot. Then the two travel ones. Big ones. Yes. Put all your travel ephemera in here. 
and I really <laughs> like this effect. You could also do this with a ring binder uh, paper with uh, the holes in them. Yeah, or if you don't have anything like it, just, you know, punch something in with a border punch or something. Yeah. For travel, this was the classic one. This was just a straight one. Still looks amazing. Yeah. I like these colors in real life. I love uh, my pastels and my pinks and such. I hardly ever work with them in a project, but they do go very well together. Uh, I'm, I'm getting used to it. It's just, you know, off, <laughs> off the sort of off the grid. Then this one, uh, a classic one. Loves just classic. Fantastic. Then I have a couple of ones that I didn't uh, do anything with, even though they're really, really sort of blank and they can do, you can do all sorts with them uh, because I really want to do, I want to make a video this month uh, where I'm going to make faux vintage envelopes. I love my vintage envelopes a lot, but they can be really expensive. And I think uh, we can make our own. I know we can make our own because I did that before. And I'm going to use these sort of papers. Yeah. And this is just, I just want to stamp all over it. But th this will take a lot of time. And with the video with faux, faux vintage envelopes, we're going to do a lot of stamping as well. But it's interesting. Some, some order forms. Why not? And then this one, the last one. <clears throat> um uh, purple label but i didn't put anything on it uh yet but it will uh look lovely with a purple label um i'm going to mention this page later so that's it for today guys it's friday which means the weekend is here have a fantastic weekend uh in the netherlands it's going to be lovely weather or so they say it's not here yet uh i'll be back sunday yes with a long video a long one i have a treasure haul uh video for you guys i got um some lovely happy mail went thrifting with my one of my best friends and my very best friend which is tim my husband and also found something online um and i found this i'm gonna already sort of tell you what i found this is from timus flora in Kleur. it is a fantastic book i first saw the book on probably Joey's channel or Tina's channel, shall we do that? Um, it is actually the British Concise Flora, I don't know, something, something. But we have the Dutch one. Guess what? I found the English one. I am so happy with it. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, um, and also the difference between the two books, this Sunday. So this Sunday, long video. Have a tea, a cup of tea and a snack. And a plan in a sanitary sort of stop. <laughs> because it's going to be a long one. Uh, but I'll be also... Uh, I'm also going to be back this Monday with another envelope um, video. I have no clue what. It's going to be fun. Okay, guys. Enjoy your weekend. See you Sunday or Monday. Until then, bye. <laughs>